The Benedictine Sisters Relic Chapel in Clyde, Missouri opened its doors in 1930. This sacred space provides a permanent home for memorials to lives formed in holiness. It contains more than 550 relics of saints, martyrs, bishops, popes, and many others. The story of how this large and beautiful collection found a home nestled among the quiet hills of the rural Midwest is almost as interesting as the chapel itself. Life was bleak across the Atlantic Ocean in the early 20th century. World War I left much of Europe in complete devastation. Of the people who survived, many lost their homes and their families. There was very little food or shelter. Religious men and women struggled too. Even to procure the absolute necessities of life in this time of great scarcity is terrible, one letter said. The pleas for help reached the Benedictine sisters and Father Lucas Etlin, their community chaplain. The sisters sent what they could, but soon realized the need was too great. In a world before the internet, the sisters had another way to reach a lot of people, their magazine, Tabernacle and Purgatory. In an issue published in 1920, Father Lucas revealed the plight of our European religious brothers and sisters. Famine is here, he wrote. One community informs us that many of their sisters have literally starved to death. Another community lost 60 sisters as a consequence of hunger and distress. Father Etlin and the sisters appealed to their readers to search their hearts and follow Christ's teaching to help those in need. The response was immediate and generous. In just two short months, the sisters collected $12,000. By 1927, that number had grown to two million, almost $23 million in today's world, and that was just the beginning. For almost 10 years, the Sisters magazine featured European communities in need. Donations continued to pour in, buying food and clothing, rebuilding monasteries and convents, and providing religious brothers and sisters ways to support the needy in their own communities once again. The communities we helped sent us some of their relics as a thank you for helping rebuild their monasteries and their lives. These were their most treasured possessions, some of the very few things that survived the war. It is because of this charitable work and of the friendships formed among the Benedictine sisters, the generous readers of Tabernacle and Purgatory, and the Catholics throughout Western Europe that the Benedictine sisters' relic chapel exists today. To learn more about relics, please visit our relic chapel. It is free and open to the public. We welcome tours.